What's up, CL fam? Today we're going to the UK's worst, worst zoo. zoo. Not worst rated. It has been labelled the worst zoo. Let's have a quick backstory. Worth Wild Animal Kingdom is located in a Welsh seaside town. Dean and Tracy are the current owners. Since they took on the zoo, it's been subject to a BBC TV series called Saving Britain's Worst Zoo. So it's not the best start. In its prime, the zoo was home to big cats, monkeys, wallabies, snakes, fruit bats, spiders, and a few other animals. After a whole lot of missing paperwork, beavers escaping, doors accidentally being left open on enclosures, a £1,300 fine, the zoo purchased two lions. I'm sorry, if they can't keep beavers in a cage, how the hell can they keep lions? That's what I'm thinking. In 2017, another escapee, this time a lynx, went on the run taking out seven sheep on its week-long venture. It was eventually shot dead by the council. There was another lynx there that was killed during a move from enclosure to enclosure. So you know how they put them things around their necks to like take them from one place to another? Other, they actually ended up killing the lynx. How are these people allowed to look after animals? After the second death, the zoo was banned from housing any Category 1 animals. And in 2020, it was reported that a fifth of the animals living at the zoo died within the space of a year. And two days later, two African antelopes escaped. It sounds like a kid's storybook. It does. How is this real? And I've also read up on, they were actually threatening to kill their animals during COVID because they didn't have the funding to look after them. So instead of giving them to a different zoo, they were threatening to kill them. They were trying to fundraise and make the public feel bad. If we don't get this funding from you guys, we're going to have to kill our animals. How sick. And now for the juicy part. Let's Ooh. have a look at some reviews. But before we do that, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below. You can always unsubscribe later. Diabolical. Absolute disgrace. Not at all as advertised. Hardly any animals. And the animals that are there, to be honest, need rescuing. There's more empty cages than anything. This place needs shutting down. Waste of money and time. Do not go here. This is not a joke. I've been to the zoo every year for the past three years. It's no longer a zoo. And they won't tell you that. We paid full price today. Monkeys are gone. They've replaced them with ducks in a cage. You can't put ducks in a cage. Don't ducks like to fly and go to ponds and stuff? No big cats, no exotic birds, no tortoises. It's a terrible farm. They've got pigs, goats, and a couple of donkeys. Very poor care. I'm so sad for the animals. The enclosures were far too small. You can tell the animals weren't looked after properly. We love animals. So if we get there and it's an absolute disgrace, we're going to feel so bad. Do you know what's hilarious? We're putting like funding into this place and Connor doesn't even like zoos. I never and go unless, to zoos anyway. Unless the animal's kept there because they're an endangered, endangered species. Yeah. We'll read one more to give you a bigger picture. So saddened they've titled this review. This is tragic. These animals are in shoe boxes of cages and they reckon their dog's got more room in the back garden. So there's only one thing left to do and what's that's that? go check this place out for ourselves. <laughs> I can't wait to see my favourite lion and monkeys in the cages with the ducks. <laughs> How do you get in? Hey, Bab, Abba's coming. The Abba. The Abba. Oh my goodness, this is a very strange venue <laughs> for their comeback shows. <laughs> oh, they've got an overflow parking. Yeah, because they're going to need that, aren't they? The little zoo with a big heart. The zoo with a big heart. We're going to kill our animals if you don't give us money. What a big, juicy heart. Hello. Are you aware we're not a full zoo? Yes, yes, you yes. Are, yes okay, yes, yes. all right, fine then. That's 18 pounds, anything. I'm very excited. Oh that was baby. 18 pounds. Hey, babe, I got that for my birthday. Oh, yeah. That's the one I had. I turned it into a sled. Aren't ducks supposed to fly <laughs> and, and live in ponds? In sand pits. <laughs> oh, you have a nice wee or a poo? I'll tell him. Right, what did you say was in here? I think I've got a wild, wild vicious <laughs> hamster. Oh, it is a wild hamster. Oh, my goodness. Oh, hey, wow. Well. Oh, my God. <laughs> That's part if he was a rabbit. Oh, wow. Oh, you're a cute wicker one. I've never seen a rabbit, like, try and get out of a cage. They're normally, like, bouncing around. I've never seen one, like, physically trying to get out. My name's Roger. I'm six months old. Please excuse my old patches. I've been recently rescued after being abandoned by my previous owner. Yeah, right. We'll have to kill our animals if we don't get funding. I don't know what a rabbit pen's supposed to look like, but it doesn't look like it's cleaned very often. I don't think he's very happy being in it. Oh my god, look at that. I've never seen a baby guinea pig before. Look at the size of it. They've got the massive guinea pig head, but the body is tiny. Oh, they're off. So we're basically in a pets at home. Art classes with Leona Jade. He asked me to paint him like one of his French girls. Oh, and is that what you're doing? Yeah. Oh, okay. Bless. You want to see it? Wow, what a I work of art. Oh, Babby! I genuinely can't believe that there is actually ducks in a cage. But can you believe there's a canary cage? And there's actually two canaries in there. Just two. I've seen more at the park. <laughs> it says do not feed. What am I not feeding? Oh, I smell poo. Mm -hmm. Do you want the other poo? 
not telling. All right, well, can we go and find the lion then? Yeah, I'm done with these small animals. Domestic. Where's the lion? This is the wild domestic chicken. The wild, wild domestic chicken shoved in a cage. Oh my God, it's telling you off. I'm being attacked by flies. It's on a wild cover. <laughs> <laughs> I need to get a closer look. <laughs> I don't like a good bird. And that Connor bird was... Uh, he was cool, wasn't he? He was really cool. This area is closed for your own safety. But it used to be safe then. <gasps> There's a park! What was they that? They have ideas. So they put a bloody husky in a cage. Someone's pet dog in a cage. No, they haven't. <laughs> it's a husky. It's actually a husky. Oh. You will. You know they don't want to be in there, look at There's it. No. They've not put dogs in a cage. They are wolf dogs, people say. Hello mate, can you sing that Taylor Swift song? <laughs> you, do you know that one Taylor Swift song? <laughs> <laughs> don't think he knows the Taylor Swift song. Right, so are these alive or are they sleeping? Are they? <laughs> oh my god. These animals will bite. That's my mum's hair before she straightens it. Oh, yeah. It says there's meant to be three, though. Why is there only two? They probably ate the other one. Matilda, can you tell me where Honey is, please? Matilda, where's Miss Honey? Miss Trunchbull killed her. <laughs> no one's getting my Matilda jokes, and it's really upsetting me. If you guys remember when we read the reviews, one of them said that it was £5 each a ticket, no matter what age. We paid 18 which would seem they've put the price up. How, like, where? Why has why <laughs> the price the last, gone up? In the last couple of weeks. How has the service improved? Excuse me, is there anyone home? Just having a munch. Oh, this is so small. This was definitely not meant to be a chicken's pen at any point. They've got it all has... of the monkeys because they couldn't afford them, and they just took the chickens in again. Yeah, cage. they've got they've got like swinging bars, and they've got a platform. Have you ever seen a chicken and swing on a wooden pole? Can the chicken even get onto the platform? No, chickens can't fly or climb. Oh my god, look at the hair! They rock chicken. Oh. <laughs> it's a fluffy McNuffin. Nothing. These animals will bite when they've been bit <laughs> by a chicken. Do you want a school chair, by the way? Uh, no, why is there a school chair there? They don't even bother cutting the grass around the pen to tidy up. Babe, I think you need to ask at reception where the lion is because I think we've been around the whole place now and I haven't seen him. Oh my god, a wild peacock has got out of the enclosure. Are they allowed to just run free because they'd attack you? No, no, they won't. I don't think they'll attack you. The door's wide open in the enclosure. Yeah, they're going in. I've helped save the day. Can I join you for a spot of tea? Poo check. I found it stinks in here. Not clean, are we? Not bad. Oh my god, it stinks in here. I do need a wee though, so I will, I will, I will do that right now. So, so we've just had a very suspicious encounter. Yeah, we just so. walked past one of the owners. Oh, look at the kitty man. Hey, one muffin. Yeah, okay. Anyway, we were, going, we were walking past them and um, they had a cardboard box in the back of our van. Didn't see what Big was in it. Big scary van man. Big scary white van man. And when we walked past, he was like, no, 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 put it back in, put it back in. So we couldn't see it. So they pushed it back into the van and they waited for us to go around the corner. And then we had a little peek back. And they pulled it out again. And they pulled out the box again. So it makes me think, what is in Something that box? Dodgy in this seat. Yes. Is it an animal? Is it a TV? Let's go back in and see if they're trading illegal chickens. I'd also just like to clarify that I walked past the cafe. <laughs> that is speed bump! Back to serious mode. Trading, trading chickens. chickens. Trading chickens. I would also like to um, say that I passed the cafe and I noticed that it's a hygiene three. <laughs> no, it's not. Oh my god, let's go get a coffee. Like it's like really bad. Yeah, I think this might have been. Rain. We've just come out of the calf and bloody peacock's escaping. This is the exit. He's making his way round slowly. We found the gift shop. We're here to get Sandra a souvenir. We better put some funding in this place because no one bugger else is. We are those people who like gifts and uh, Sandra's even got one. But Liana, on the other hand, of course, she picked the poncho, which only covers half of her body because it's for children. And just as you think, the zoo's over. Oh, well, hello there, young duckling. 